So if you know me, you know I love pancakes. I just found out they have pancakes at the French restaurant in my building, La Supreme. I had to go try them out. And if you're wondering who brings mason jars of homemade maple syrup to the restaurant and pours them on their pancakes, I do. This stuff is made in small batches at my buddy's farm up north. And once you've had that real maple syrup, you'll never go back to the commercial stuff. Big thanks to Allie at La Supreme. She is just amazing. All right, let's get this NFL draft stuff out of the way. We got 11 days to go. Here's an overview of the shell that they're building. Is I can see some technology going up inside. They got temporary seating on the sides. Here's a view from the top. You can see all the way down to Campus Marshes. They're building some seating down there too. Uh, clearly a lot more going on. Our cell on wheels, otherwise known as cow, is up and running, but for some reason my Verizon speed still suck. Digital signage is gonna be huge for this event since there's not enough space for everyone to crowd around the stage. This sign is going up on the parking structure across from Ford Field. So we got these artsy kind of football cleats all over downtown. This one is at Washington Boulevard in Michigan. This one is at Jefferson and Woodward. And then there's another one on Michigan, kind of in the Corktown area. I do know there's more, but I haven't found them yet. I'll make sure to post them when I do. So we're hanging banners all over the place. Some of them are generic, but a lot of them are specific to teams. They're kind of spread out all over the place. Obviously, this is the best flag out of all of them. And then we got all these other teams. I was going to talk about every one of these teams, but it doesn't matter. The Lions are better than every single one. We are going to go to the Super Bowl next year, and we're probably going to win, assuming we don't choke in the second half. So the city is busy cleaning up downtown. We got some fancy signs going up, showing people where to go. We got the NFL jersey on the city Detroit guy. Back at Hart Plaza, we got a truss arch going across the main walkway, and it looks like they're staging equipment to build the temporary grandstands along the main Atwater kind of promenade there. So Hudson's building finally topped out. It is now the second tallest building in the state of Michigan. It is topping out at 680 feet, 49 stories tall. So I tried to grab you guys some nice high resolution photos of the actual site. It's cool to see uh, the building inside while it's being built, I think. Hope you enjoy these. So I feel like it's been cloudy and rainy for such a long time. This weekend comes and it's blue sky, sun is out, it's warm enough. I feel like summer is getting close, yay. So I took a trip on the People Mover and they finally activated those TV screens at the stations and they're actually working. They show a real-time display of where the train is at and it actually is accurate, fantastic. Let's go for a quick ride here. We're gonna ride from the Renaissance Center to the Times Square station. It's nice to see the People Mover putting money into their infrastructure. I've seen new cameras around, these displays are great. So we arrived at my home base, Times Square. Let's see if our display changes with updated times and boom, yes it does. So it looks like we actually have interactive kiosks that we can look up current events and current status of things. That's pretty cool too. So if you haven't been to the book tower, there is a master clock in the main lobby and this clock used to set the time for all the offices in the building, but this clock is kind of special. They restored it and made it all pretty and they actually made a puzzle based on this clock. This is a custom made puzzle by a company called Liberty Puzzle. They say ages eight and over, but I can tell you, 40 and under, this thing just blew my mind. It made me crazy trying to put this thing together. I had help from my sister, but the pieces are cut into such weird shapes, like little people or little animals. And the fact that there are areas of the puzzle that were basically just one solid color, it really made it challenging to put this thing together. We finally got it done. Here's the end result. We were so happy that once it was done that we just went out to the streets and had a big party. Actually, just kidding, that was a wedding. Uh, but here I am putting this thing away and it really kind of broke my heart taking it apart. Big thanks to my little sister Lisa and my upstairs neighbor Aisha for helping me with this puzzle. I'm not sure if I'm mentally capable of it, but we got two more to complete. Quick stop to Checker Bar downtown. This is my favorite place for a quick, good bite to eat. It's a unique place that has a cool casual vibe. Checker burger with loaded fries is my go-to meal. And upstairs, they actually have an arcade. Sorry, I didn't get any video of it, but we'll revisit it. So I was riding my bike in Greek Town. I happened to stumble on the Detroit Greek Independence Day Parade, which I didn't know about, but I actually had to Google. And this day celebrates the start of the War of Greek Independence, where Greeks fought to end several centuries of Ottoman rule. This goes back to 1821. Lots of cool music, people were dancing around, the colors are really cool, and looks like everyone was just having a great time. I wanna close with our City of Detroit sign. We've been getting a lot of negative comments on social media, a lot of people hating on it, and I think it's completely unjustified. 
A lot of it stemmed when some goofball posted a fake AI generated image of the sign, which was something that totally made up. And it's comparing it to a kind of misleading photo of the letters because from this vantage point, you're looking directly onto them and it doesn't really look like that from the ground. When you're driving past this thing, you really see the true depth and size of the letters and it looks a lot better than this photo. I guarantee you, once they light this thing up at night and once you have celebrities and VIPs driving in on 94 to this draft, they're gonna be posting about it. There's gonna be a buzz about it. Anyway, I just wanna get that off my chest. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you again soon.